We'd like to welcome those of you just joining us. This is the first possession of the game. Duke ranked number one against Michigan, and Elton Brand has it stripped away. Jim, something Michigan is really patterned for with their defense, and that's double down low against the postman. Steve Fisher put it in a number of years ago. They do it as well as anybody, and the freshman Brand wasn't ready for it. Michigan has a 5-2 record. Duke undefeated at 9-0. Good step out that time by Battier. An excellent defender for just a freshman. Example right there. And the block. The block by Battier. Three on one. Langdon from the right wing finds Brand. But misses on the slam. Robbie Reed comes out. Ahead to Bullock. Who, well, oh, no basket. And take no it away. Basket interference by Macy Obaston. Jim, what we're seeing already is exactly what Mike Krzyzewski wanted, and that is to turn this into a track meet. Obviously, favors Duke University because they have such an incredible bench. The Duke team that goes 11 deep will be 12 deep when it plays its next game, and Ricky Price comes back. And you can see they're forcing the pace of this game with their defense. They want to run... 90 feet on every possession. And these two played here two years ago. Michigan won 88-84. Another turnover. Still no points scored in the game's first minute and a half. Macy Obaston has played very well in the games against Duke. They're going to be real key down inside to me. Trailer and Brand. Which one gets the upper hand early in this ballgame? Trajan Langdon on a three. And Trailer just snags the ball out of the air for the rebound. I can say this is the first time in Brand's life he ever played against a wider body. They try to get it inside. Pass the second chance and count it. As I said, he has played well against Duke University. Maceo has about ten people from Texas here to watch this ball game today, including his mom and dad. And we have seen him have some monster ball games against Duke and Indiana. He seems to come up big against top flight opponents. Three-point play for Baston, who preserved the victory here two years ago with a blocked shot in the last six seconds. That was the third time that year that he was able to win a game at the end by blocking a shot. Langdon, strong again, and Ward for the Wolverines. Rod becoming a much better rebounder this year. Robbie Reed with a three. Brand with a good job of boxing out on trailer. Good help by Reed. A Duke team averaging 95 a game hasn't scored in the first two and a half. Now they do with Mike Chappelle. Mike Chappelle coming home. He's a sophomore from Southfield, Michigan. Two of Duke starters come from right here in this area. Baston, left loose underneath. Baston getting down the floor extremely well. Hi. Reed almost steals it. Langdon gives it up to Brand. Comes up short. Trailer comes out with it. Beautiful hit ahead by Trailer. Ward. It goes, and he'll shoot one. Well, a lot of people have questioned whether Ward is tough enough. Wojo challenged him on that play, and Ward finished it off beautifully. The young man who has had incredible difficulties, the two knee injuries just when it looked like he was ready to get star status, has held him back. But he went up strong there. That's the second time today that Trailer has prevented Playing from putting the shot away. Ward, the former National Prep Player of the Year from Clinton, Mississippi. And good job by Trailer again. Puts Grand right under the basket. And Duke touched it last. 7-2 Michigan. How long before Mike Krzyzewski starts going to that lineup that's sitting over there on the bench? Wanting to show some patience here, but the first club hasn't delivered. Wojciechowski with the steal. To Chappelle. Beauty. He has all four Duke points. 
Again, good overplay by Wojo. Duke looks for steals are off the ball, not off the dribble. Blocked by Brand, saved by Wojo. And here goes that track meet. Lock called on Bullock. Four prominent freshmen for Duke. They say the best recruiting class since the Fab Five of Michigan. Uh, Jim, a national team was selected last year by USA Basketball. Twelve outstanding high school seniors. Four of them were those four right there all going to the same school. Nice finish. Oh, Batty. Oh, I hope they're all right. Had uh, quite a collision there. Baston landing on them. That Battier, great poise and patience for a freshman. He realizes that Maceo is a guy that likes to block shots, so he got him up in the air. As a matter of fact, it's kind of interesting. Mike Krzyzewski said of all the freshmen he's had, Tommy Amaker had the most poise, and he's had some great ones. But he said that in terms of Brand and Battier, they're right up there with Amaker, saying a lot. Duke brings in three subs. William Avery, number five, the freshman guard, their third leading scorer. Rashawn McLeod, number four, and Chris Carrowell, who just gave it up, number 23. And Michigan goes zone for the first time playing a 2 3. It wasn't set. That was McLeod misfiring. Baston has five points. Duke has made only two of its first eight shots. And the Wolverines lead the number one team early. CBS Sports coverage of the road to the final four. Here early in this game, Billy, some of your first impressions? Well, I think that uh, Duke has got to get some kind of pace going offensively. They're going to try to turn this into a full court game. You've got to remember that Duke University has a situation where the most minutes anybody plays is about 27 minutes a game. In the case of Michigan, the least any of their starters play is 26 minutes. So the object for Duke is to wear this ball club down. So far, Michigan has handled the pressure fairly well. Michigan still with its five starters on the floor, but Travis Conlon will be coming on after the next whistle. Langdon known for his offensive shooting, also a solid defender on Bullock. Seven on the shot clock, Trailer. Nice. Great pitch to Baston. And it was Trailer who set up Baston in a win earlier this season against Detroit. Baston scored the winning basket against the University of Detroit with a tenth of a second to go. Trailer very underrated as a passer. There you see the team setting up back in, in a man-to-man. -man. Trailer playing a one-man zone underneath. Carowell missing inside. Nice Brand follows it up. And it'll head to the line. Foul trailer. Watch that passing. He has excellent vision. He understands the game extremely well. I think the fact, Jim, that at 300 pounds, you don't think that he can play such a soft basketball game. I mean, he leaps off. He has great hands, gets off the floor, and he's carrying that 300 pounds. He's an amazing athlete. Robert Trailer, we're talking about. Michigan leads 9-6. Here he is There's at the other hands. end. Yep. Oh, yeah. And good patience, too. He was double teamed by Carowell and Brand. And he hustles back down court to catch up with Brand, who was trying to get an easy one. The freshman is meeting his match here in regard to size in that low post. Bullock with the steal. Awareness. You've got to know where he is. Bullock, such an explosive score. Brand, good rebound, gets it out to Carowell. Nice job by Conlon. Back to Brand. Conlon with a beautiful pass on the inside. He is a terrific assist man, led the team in assists last year. Obviously, everybody realizes he broke his wrist. Missed the early ball games. He's back now and will play an important role for this Michigan team. That's the second foul, Maceo Baston. And that's an area that could really hurt Michigan. If either Baston or Trailer get themselves into foul trouble. 
18 year old freshman who weighs 260. Had a peak skill New York. Got to play his first college game just what 15 minutes from his home when Duke opened the season at West Point against Army. And a freshman coming in for Michigan, Josh Asselin. Nice job of substituting by Brian Ellaby. He realizes he's got to keep some guys fresh. He has to take some gambles here with his team in the lead. Freshman coming in for Duke, Chris Burgess, 6'10 freshman from Irvine, California. Full court man-to-man -man pressure. Ward would rather shoot outside than drive. Wojo reaches in for the theft. Carowell. Conlon draws the charge. Second great defensive play by Conlon hustling back down floor. Conlon playing with a soft rubber cast. He broke his wrist back in November. Jim Wojo should have kept this ball in the middle, and he actually made the feed a little bit too early. Didn't create the angle. Nice hedge move by McLeod. Out of the pack, Carowell comes away with it. Ooh, pretty nice catch, huh? Yep, Burgess saved one that was going out of bounds. What I sense from Duke right now, they're trying to put this game away too early. Instead of just playing solid basketball, they're looking for the blowout, not necessarily there, and they're not being patient. 11-7 Michigan. 13-10 left for staff. Trailer using that forearm to keep Burgess away. Nice. Duke again steals it inside. McLeod to Burgess. Jim, that's what I was talking about. Hanging on to that ball till you create the passing angle. Great job by McLeod. Trailer now walking down floor. A little bit tired. They've got to give him a chance to rest a little bit in the half-court offense when they've got the ball. Ward. That was a three. Kramer follows it up. Just over trailer with a little soft foot. You wonder why he was a top-notch recruit. How about that half hook from about 12 feet? He started out about as slow as any of the foursome, but he's coming on of late. Another steal. Burgess had a big game against Trent Virginia last week. Trailers just whipped as he is tired. And a traveling call. <laughs> nice post up here by Burgess. He has trailer on his hip. Beautiful half up. Well, in terms of tenure in the ACC, Mike Krzyzewski now with the retirement of Dean Smith. He is the elder statesman of the Atlantic Coast Conference. Let's not forget Billy Guthridge has been at Carolina for a while, but not as the head man until this season. What about the North Carolina Duke matchup we'll be seeing later in the year? That ought to be something, Jimmy. When you talk about these coaching changes and tenure, it was the second highest coaching turnover ever but in the NCAA this year. 21%, 97 of the 306 teams have a new coach. That's the highest total ever percentage-wise since 1987. But of all the coaching changes, this one's the most unsettled right here at Michigan campus. Well, it's not finished yet. Nope. Another steal. Yep, man. That's the ninth time now Michigan's turned it over. That's a turnover per minute. Wojciechowski. Jim, imagine this against Detroit. Michigan had 
10 assists and 27 turnovers. They're on that mark right now. They've only had one game this year, Michigan, where it had more assists than turnovers, and that was its most impressive outing against UNLV a week ago, beating uh, the running Rebs right here on this floor by 24 points. Duke really aware of Reed when he's outside. They're not going to let him get a shot off. They're going to make him put it on the floor and penetrate. And for a point guard, he doesn't have the ball in his hands very much. Pass on blocked by Burgess, but puts it back up to beat the shot clock. Burgess doing a good job out there. McLeod, good pass too by Wojo. Aslan may be in a little over his head, Jim, in this game right now. Baskin's going to come back in, and remember, he has two fouls, so Coach Ellaby really has a problem in that area. Conlon to Taylor for the put away to tie the game at 15. you got to play Conlon for the pass on his drive. Zuszewski coming back with Elton Brand, figuring they've worn Trailer down a little bit. Nice. Very unselfish play there. Couple of shots passed up. Trailer each time down the court gets a little slower. Conlon pulls up. Trailer double. Oh, team. awesome, man. Awesome move. Can't stop that. He made up his mind that the ball was not going to be taken away from him. He was patient enough. He has great footwork, and you'll see it right here. Watch the footwork on his part. He gets himself set. Good pump fake. Turn down and under move. Terrific job. Six rebounds for Trailer. Great footwork inside by a 300-pounder. And that's the one thing he doesn't do well is shoot free throws, but he buries that and gets a very well-deserved rest. Nine points, six rebounds for Trailer, putting the Wolverines ahead 18-15. He was the MVP of the NIT last March when Michigan won the championship at Madison Square Garden. Watch Elton Brand score some points in the next few possessions. Not quite the same back in and on Aslan no, as it is Trailer, is and it? And he feels it, too. Yep. Oh, back play. Wojo. Ooh, and Duke takes the lead, 19-18. Good job by Coach Ellaby. He needed a timeout right now. He's got Trailer down. He needs to steal some minutes to let him rest, and he can't go to this bench. So he takes a 20. Just inside of nine minutes to go in the first half. These two met for the national championship back in 1992 in Minneapolis. The five freshmen started for Michigan, but in the end, it was Duke winning its second straight title. Grant Hill on the dunk there. The only back-to-back -back championships in the last quarter century. Jim, I can remember the game of the Fab Five that we had here. They took Duke right to overtime. They thought they were going to win the game. They were not in awe at all. I remember Christian Leitner was exhausted in that game with Bobby Early. That was six and, years ago yeah, tomorrow. Seems like it was yesterday. 91. It really does. Again, a lot of pressure off the ball by Duke. Mike Chappelle has returned to the Duke lineup. In fact, Duke has his starting five back on the floor. Battier has returned. Does it make any difference? <laughs> it really doesn't. There's so many interchangeable parts here. All the kids are talented. Here they go. Battier. Too strong. And Aslan got the rebound. That's the third time Conlon has broken up a fast break. Broken wrist and all. Gutty kick. Michigan, very sloppy. 12 turnovers. Well, they've got a problem. Reed is the point guard, and he really has no intermediate game. Chappelle with the three and a whistle on the inside. The basket will count, and a call away from the shot against Maceo Baston is third. 
With the conclusion of this game, we will be selecting the Chevrolet most valuable player of the game from each team. To date, Chevrolet has contributed over six and a half million dollars to the scholarship funds of America's colleges and universities. Again, the substitution pattern, Coach Elby realizing he's got to get Trailer back out there, so he gave him the timeout, the short rest, and he's back in the game. But Bassett on the bench with three at eight minutes to go, first half. Oh, nice fake by Graham. Graham showing his own strength. Now, if you're trailer, you've got to let him show you that he can hit that jump shot before you go for the pump fake. Look at Brand out here gardening. Look at trailer making the move. It's hit up and in by Asselin. 6'11 freshman from Carroll, Michigan. Give trailer a miss shot, but also assist because everybody was trying to help out. Brand dunks at the other end. And a call against Michigan. Well, Trailer tried to come over to help out. Wojo recognized it. We see two men on Trailer, therefore nobody to block out. And here's Wojo in. The same thing happens. Trailer comes over to help out. His man wide open. Good bounce pass. Hasselman tips in at one end, but gets whistled for the foul at the other. Three-point play for Brand. And Duke now with its largest lead. Brand with 10 points, Duke by seven. There is lost as we enter this new season. Dean Smith retiring, Patino moving on to the Celtics. They're playing in this area tonight. Dale Brown and Steve Fisher, who was dismissed as the coach of this program at Michigan on October the 10th. It was a bizarre and hugely successful odyssey for Fisher in his years at Michigan, a national championship, three Final Fours. He came in with a national championship as an interim coach and left with a win. He's That's like, right. how many guys never happened before? How many guys leave a program or dismiss from a program after the last game was a W? They won the NIT championship in what would be now Fisher's last game as the coach. Pretty good foul inside, but you can see nobody's been a match for Trailer in that low post. Terrific hands this young guy has. An engaging personality. You talk about leadership, Jim. Here's a young guy as a sophomore was named captain of his basketball team. Trailer and Conlon co-captains for the second straight year. We're oh! talking about Steve Fisher, who was a very close friendship relationship between Fisher and Robert Trailer. Well, you admire Trailer has been very supportive of Coach Fisher. I think, to be quite honest with you, Steve's probably suffering as much right now up in the stands because this is his ball club as he would if he was sitting on the sidelines. Maybe more. This is his first game back at Chrysler Arena. There's the zone again. Wojo recognized it. Little 2-3 zone. Wojo way outside. Three-pointer. And Duke now on a run here. 13-2 run to lead by 10. Not much pressure on the ball with that zone, but... Coach Ellaby trying to get a rest for his ball club. Ward has been no factor. Nice rebound. Panier out of the pack to Chappelle. Wojo. Ward. Con on the Ward. Foul on Wojciechowski. You can now get all your college hoops action at CBS Sports Line. You'll find the latest standings plus statistics for every Division I team. You can chat with other fans. Don't forget to vote in our college basketball top 25 poll. Get in on the action. CBS.sportsline.com. Second foul on Wojciechowski, who's backed up by Will Avery. Ward shoots 63% from the line. And Jim, when you look at this young man's stats, he doesn't create an intermediate game. He's got an outside jump shot, and he can dunk. He only has four assists on the year, so you know he's not creating plays. There's Trailer again with those hands. Aslan commits the foul. He was very active in there, fought for that rebound. 
but commits his second. Avery has come in for Wojciechowski to direct the Duke offense. And you have to think right now with Avery in the ball game, look for Langan to find himself an opening against that zone. Tommy Amaker, Mike Krzyzewski's longtime assistant, first-year coach at Seton Hall. His Pirates come up seven short at Northwestern today against a new coach there, Kevin O'Neill, who moved from Tennessee. Tennessee, the club that he left, off to a tremendous start. Long rebound to Reed. 31-21 Duke. Going to force him to put that ball in his right hand. Reed, three. He had 17 in the win against UNLV last week, including four from behind the arc. Over 80% of his field goals that are made are three-point shots. Trajan Langdon. Nice defense by Reed. Langdon can't get untracked. Nor can Bullock. Two of the best prim pure shooters in college basketball. Foul away from the ball. Called on Gerard Ward. His first. Well, next Saturday on CBS, we've got doubleheader action coming your way. North Carolina versus Florida State. An ACC battle from Tallahassee and Texas against Illinois. Tommy Pender's club playing well. Lon Kruger's club with a big win over Clemson today. Big 10 ACC battle in Florida State, a very much underrated team that played Michigan in the finals last year, the NIT, returning most of their ball players and playing well. One more for Battier, 6'8 freshman from Country Day High School, same high school that produced Chris Weber. Key to make those free throws so he can set up the press. McLeod replaces Battier. A few boos. Did you notice that when Battier oh, yeah. was introduced today? Right. Michigan certainly wanted to recruit him. Bullock 0 for 3 from the field. Brings the ball in the front court. Guarded by Langdon is also 0 for 3. Pretty nice screening inside by Michigan. Trying to get Ward something going down low. three-pointer. That was a terrific shot because Carowell was coming over to alter it. Conlon stayed right with it. Touch the Duke lead to six. Burgess, good fake. Second time today that one of the freshmen have taken trailer right up in the air with a bump fake. Burgess showing some nice quickness there. Burgess with six points. Now on Trajan Langdon. Duke defensively is on a record pace, school record pace in a lot of categories. And they've improved their match up their numbers versus last year. Last year's team again won the ACC regular season title. But well, Jim, if you take a look at their assist to turnover ratio, it's plus 35. Their opponents are a minus 109. Hmm terrific uh, difference in terms of your opportunities to score. Duke is outscoring its opponents by more than 35 points a game. Bullock, a prolific free throw shooter, is now 25 of 26 on the season. He passed last year, Cassie Russell is the all-time career percentage free throw shooter. He is really pure. No rim on either shot. to man to man now. Let's see if Duke tries to get Burgess the ball some more. It's been pretty successful. Here's Carowell for two more for the Blue Devils. Carowell and Chappelle are about six foot eight. When they get inside, they can go over you. 
Carowell commits the foul at the other end. One of the best rivalries of the 90s with Duke leading 6-2, to two, but the last two years, Michigan's won. The third meeting when Duke comes into the game ranked number one. Conlon misfiring on the front end of a one-on-one. Four minutes to go in the half. Wojo was open. Avery didn't see him. Duke has hit 12 of its last 16 shots at 75% stretch. We'll be right back. It leads at 37-29. Michigan having committed 12 turnovers. You know, Jim, as frenetic a pace it's been, Duke with only four turnovers. That's an adult. One of the art. Underneath that hat. This guy right here has several times through the years asked me to put that hat on for a photo op. And I have obliged. Inbounds. Michigan goes back to the zone defense. McLeod, pretty good outside shooter. Wojo as well. See if they skip pass and go to McLeod. There it is. McLeod with a three. Nate James in for Duke, number 14. His first action. He's still not running well on that ankle, though. Warren missing coming up short on the inside. Coming up on Pennzoil at the half, Michelle Tafoya will have all the scores, plus a look at Northeastern Illinois basketball player Nick Knapp. Who could be risking his life for the love of the game? That's coming up on Pennzoil at the half. Ward to shoot two. Now that was one right there where Ward, even though he was fouled on the way up, seemed like he should have converted that should've, basket. Absolutely, Jim. Should have finished. The young man's got a sculptured body. You've just got to go in there tougher and harder. <laughs> Back to their man to man. Wojo, open alley. Uh, he was expecting to be blocked. And a push off from behind. I believe it's going to be Conlon. It is his first. Well, they really missed Conlon. First three games of the year. Michigan lost its opener to Western Michigan. And they did not have the services of Travis Conlon at that time. Well, Jim, think of something. When he was out of there, Reed was averaging 37 minutes a game, Bullock 36. I mean, this day and age, it's very difficult to play a solid basketball when you're asked to play that many minutes. Billy, you mentioned this uh, young man here, Nate James, not really running at full strength. His first game back was uh, this week against Villanova after missing three with an ankle sprain. Well, talk about how injuries we mentioned, how Gerard Ward had, had the problem with injuries. Hey, James has had a problem as well. Last year, remember the thumb injury. Just when it looked like he could potentially be a starter in that club as a freshman. Really has moved him back. He indeed got one start his freshman year, but again, in that rotation of 11 players that will expand to 12 next week, where will they put Ricky Price in this lineup? <laughs> On the floor with four other guys I mean, for probably about 18 minutes a game. Yeah, how do you find the time, though? 39-31, do. Ames spreading out on Conlon. Long wingspan. Making it tough. Ward. And Brand, the only one underneath. Avery down the court. Duke wanting to break. Grand block. There's Conlon again. Boy, he's a gritty kid. Back to James and a block. Count the basket. That is at least the fifth time today that Conlon has made a sensational defensive effort to try to try, in some cases, thwart a fast break. In this case, he gets there late. Excellent call. Nice move to the basket by James. 
just tried to go through too much traffic. Turnover is really a problem, Jim, for Michigan in this first half. As Mike Krzyzewski said yesterday, the pace will be dictated by the defensive pressure, not offense. So Duke with its largest lead now at 11. Eight to make that 12 turnovers for Michigan in the first half. There's no place to go inside. I'm surprised they're not getting the ball to trailer. Bullock blocked it out of bounds. Brandon Smith, 6'7", freshman from Amarillo, Texas. In for Conlon, his first action. You know, Jim Conlon's got to be a little bit winded. He's uh, still working himself back into shape. Here's the, here's the zone again, an all out of bounds. Michigan has gone to zone and stayed with it. Smith comes in and almost forces a steal. <laughs> James fact, Adams has taken from him twice. Yep. You can see how gimpy he is on that leg. Reed. I tell you, Battier is a lot stronger than he looks, Jim. You notice how often that he's been fighting for a ball in traffic, and his hands are right up there getting a hold of things, even against a guy like Trailer. Yeah, that looked like one that early in the game, when he wasn't so fatigued, Trailer would have uh, snagged rather easily. Good point. He's only a minute and 40 seconds away from halftime, though. Double team on Brand. Avery in the corner. There's Battier again. He really is an intelligent ball player. Oh, bad play by Trailer. He cannot afford to pick up a cheap foul. His second. Well, in the top ten, Duke's not only ranked number one, but its rival, Carolina, is two, Kansas three, and then Kentucky and South Carolina. Kentucky, another very, very deep team. Arizona, a deep team. Arizona winning earlier today on CBS against Coppin State. Brand, not the greatest of free throw shooters. Duke, uh, an outstanding free throw shooting team. They are going into this game making 40 more free throws than their opponent shoots. They really attack the basket. Brand now four of eight from the line with 12 points and a 12-point Duke lead. Chris Carrowell defending the ball. He replaced Wojciechowski a moment ago. Dangerous pass. Duke is not allowing passing lanes to get the ball to trail. Oh, shot. But Bullock got it to go. His first field goal of the game. And a 20 called by Duke. Bullock, a great shooter. He started the season missing his first 11 three-pointers. Back on track there. Didn't convert in his first two games from behind the arc after a streak of 44 games in a row. Released a single tray. Well, Michigan's national title back in 89 came down to Ramil Robinson hitting two free throws with three seconds left in overtime, giving Michigan its first national title, defeating Seton Hall, P.J. Carlissimo, 80 to 79. The win capped an amazing run under then interim head coach Steve Fisher. Tremendous uh, run to the championship by Michigan that year, led by Glenn Rice. And when you look over what he did, in those ball games uh, to take Michigan to the national championship, it was sensational. Great outside shooting, still holds the records from the three-point line during the NCAA tournament. Oh, Jahowski with a three. Aggressive outside shooting by Wojo. Third one he's put up. Made two of them. Overall, four of seven from the field. I'm really surprised that Michigan has Bullock bringing the ball up the court. He's a better shooter than Reed, but this takes a lot of pressure 
to have somebody else bring it up if you're the primary scorer you can get the ball once it's in half court rather than having to fight it all the way up there Avery hacked him on the shot so I hate to jinx him but it's almost an automatic two with Bullock going to the line now 26 of 27 on the season well, Jim we had Indiana last weekend and you look back uh, there on Steve Alford's career free throw shooting bordering on 90 percent this young man is that type of shooter I, and I never realized although I try to study the game of basketball that Cassie Russell was such a great free throw shooter and that's whose records Bullock is surpassing right now good move here to take trailer out of the game for not only the rest but make sure he doesn't pick up a cheap foul on the defensive end Hasselin comes in for him trailer with two fouls in the first half Maceo Baston has set the last eight minutes with three so again all net for Bullock four four today from the line and the last shot of the half should belong to Duke with an 11 point lead well I think with trailer out of the game you've got to let Brand work down inside he's got Ward on him a pretty good outside shooter. Wow, they're going to just spread it out. Wojo's got it down to seven seconds. Wasted too much time here. Baseline jumper. Not well executed by Duke University. Ryan Ellerby's team trails by 11 on its home floor against the number one team in the country directed by Mike Krzyzewski. Elton Brand with 12 points, five rebounds to lead the way. And Duke leads it 46-35. Michelle Tafoya will be along with Pennzoil at the half right after this message. No love for my dad. Oh, Michigan out as maybe they anticipated that they get a little bit more solid in their half-court offense, which was a little scattered in the first half. Maceo Baston back in there for Michigan after sitting out all but seven minutes in the first half with three fouls. Trailer outside. Nice and rebound. Oh, but he had it picked off Another by Wojciechowski. That's six. his sixth. Lob, Brand, and it's going to be the third on Robert Trailer. Jim Wojo with six steals, his all-time high is eight, which he had against Vanderbilt last year. Excellent lob. You can see Trailer hustling down court. No question about the foul, but he stopped an automatic two. Langman, who has not scored yet today. There's that double down. Brand with what? two players around. They call that they a call spy a up jump? situation. Unbelievable. And the arrow belongs I, to Duke. I thought it was going to be a three point opportunity. Hey, yeah, Jim, here's what happened to the official on this play. He can't believe that Brand was able to go ahead and have enough strength to muster that ball through. Blocked by Baston. There's the double down. Elton has got to realize what Michigan is doing and kick it out, get it back on a one-on-one -on -one situation. Maceo almost invisible in that first half. You've said it, he's had huge games against Duke in the past. Uh, Chappelle, a pure three. Nice penetration by Battier. Drive down and dish back out. Chappelle with 10, his average. I really think Michigan to be smart to allow somebody other than Bullock to bring the ball up the floor. Rest him for his shot down on the other end. Reed cutting to the hole. And Chappelle clears for Duke. Langdon. There you go. Rage and Langdon. In the first half, did not make a shot from the field. And a 20 called by Michigan. As Duke now opens up a 17-point ball. It's largest lead. Well, the greatest Western of all time, the Magnificent Seven, is now a series. You don't want to miss the exciting two-hour premiere Saturday, January 3rd, right here on CBS.
then we think of the, the big battles between these two teams. Duke faced Michigan in the Final Four during the Cassie Russell days. Jeff Mullen leading the way for uh, Duke University. Duke beat Michigan, went on to play uh, then UCLA. Losing in the finals, Gail Goodrich uh, lighting it up. Trailer, good pass by Reed. Nice entry pass. Duke right back on the attack. And Wojo almost joins the announce crew. He had the right idea. This is an excellent feed. Left hand sitting down. Trailer, such a wide body. You can't get around him over the top. Another steal. Seven now for Wojciechowski. One off his personal high. <laughs> And two quick turnovers by Wojo. He's got his mind on getting that ball on over to Trajan Langdon. He'd like to get him started as he did hitting that first jumper of the game. You get a good shooter like that on a roll, you want to get him the ball. Bullock, that's a three. Still put it in there. He really has a great release. Chappelle. He was all oh. set. Bullock ahead. Basket. And out of bounds. Michigan ball. Maceo with good hustle down the court, but Chappelle was waiting on him. Duke had it up to 17, didn't they, Jim? Scored that's the a, first six right. of the half, that's Billy. An important basket here. Ward put back by Baston. Kept alive by Trailer. Very nice comeback by Michigan. The first six to Duke. The next seven by Michigan to trim it to 10. You know what he recognized there? Reed is too small to guard him on penetration. Good smart play by Trajan Langdon. Wojo almost with another steal. Chris Carrowell in for Mike Chappelle. We've got a doubleheader next week on CBS. In fairness to Reed, he was away from basketball for 15 months. Almost another steal by Wojo. Billy, here's the doubleheader. We'll be down in Tallahassee for North Carolina against Florida State. They'll be followed by Texas and Illinois. Jim will get a chance to see Antoine Jameson, certainly one of the best players in the United States. North Carolina, probably not as deep as this Duke team, but certainly is talented with that first team they put on the floor. Langdon really with opened up. eight points in this half. He was scoreless in the first. The other end, Ward gets his own miss. And a foul on Carowell. And what Mike Krzyzewski is screaming at his players is see the ball. Michigan, which does not want to get into a running game, but shows if they had a little more depth, they certainly have the talent to do so. Beating Duke down floor. The third on Carowell. He's going to come out a minute from now. Duke subs. McLeod and Burgess will check in. I liked uh, some of Mike Krzyzewski's quotes about this deep team. He said, we have 11 players presently talented enough to play. I don't know if we have 11 players who have earned the right to play. And not getting back on defense is one way to make sure you haven't earned that right. One of two for Ward, who is replaced by Brandon Smith. Nine different Duke players have scored 
thus far today. It was an 11 point lead at halftime and now it's 14 57 43 Blue Devils. This season to shoot 50 percent from the field Michigan right now at a 45 percent pace. And the turnover total to Michigan now has risen to 16. Well, they've held their opponents, Jim, to 39% shooting on the year. Matchups down on the inside. Burgess now with Trailer. Did a pretty good job with him in that first half. Langdon, no. They'll go to the line for two. Conlon whistled for that one. Number three on Conlon. Good defensive job. He's just a very talented offensive and defensive player for that matter is Major Langan. Jim it's kind of interesting we've seen uh, two years in a row now and I mentioned it last week incidents involving guys that go up to the great Alaskan shootout with dog sledding and snowmobiling and so forth and saw an interesting article Major Langan said I've never been behind a dog sled <laughs> that should be a lesson I mean, he's good he's lived in Alaska all his life and he's never been there and guys go up there and get in trouble so Listen to an expert. He doesn't know anything about Iditarod. Huh? That's right. He's got 10 points in the he, second half. He's pulling the sled for Duke in this, <laughs> in this half. He didn't score in the first. How do you explain that? He's got 10 in the first four minutes of this second game. Burgess fighting, trying to get around. Trailer doing a nice job fronting. That is a real job. Tipped up the trailer. Can't fault Chris Burgess. They're trying. This trailer is just such a load in there. Trailer with 13. Duke by 14. Nice. Burgess to McLeod. And Baston secures it. Yeah, Burgess showing some nice moves, pump faking, putting the ball on the floor. I bet you he feels like he's leaning against our TV truck out there right yeah. now. <laughs> Not moving at no. all. No, he's battling and nothing happening. Nice, nice move. Maceo Baston with 11. Baston doing a nice job not getting in any further foul trouble. Keeping this team in the game. 59-47. Duke. And you notice Michigan also, Jim, getting this game being played half court at a time. Langdon. Bullock comes out with it. Trailers running. Smith hammered. Good hustle by Michigan. Trying to get in a little bit of a running game. Bullock sees ahead. Nicely. And a good, a good attempt for the block by McLeod. So McLeod with his first his 100th college game Rashawn McLeod his first 57 college games we're in a St. John's uniform his biggest game for St. John's was against Connecticut played for coach Hurley at St. Anthony's Jersey City Four subs in for Duke. Wojo stays on the court. They bring back Battier and Brand and Avery. Interesting. Avery and Wojo playing a lot together today. Chappelle also back to the floor. No place to go. Nice stick. Reed picks. Chappelle's pocket. So quick. And what a soft touch. Down to 10. It had been 17. Good job by Michigan doubling on the inside. Duke has had a lot of trouble today, Jim, in their half-court offense. Has not been smooth. Wojo driving and a rebound to Asselin. 
Michigan ball. Aslan gives them a couple of solid minutes in there to spell Baston. Big possession here. Get it inside of 10. Well, you think you'd want to have Trailer touch it at least once. There he is. And Faston picks up his fourth. Give Battier a lot of credit for terrific positioning. This man plays well beyond his years in terms of his knowledge for the game. Huge foul for Michigan. Brian Elby, I guess, going to leave him on the floor. I don't know if he realized he has four. There he goes. Coming so, out now. Coach Elby now goes small, Jim, with his three-guard lineup. Bullock replaced him. Langdon wants to shoot the ball in this half. He can sense it. And they're not good shots. He's forcing too much. Well, he scores 10 points, thinks he has the field. Yep. Between the legs. <laughs> Back in on Brand. No whistle, oh. but he makes it home. Boy, he has great footwork. It's so much fun to watch him. Shuts down Brand's entry. Now he challenges Langdon, who scores. Langdon, who is not on basketball scholarship at Duke because he signed a professional baseball contract, baseball which he evidently is not going to play anymore. A strong kid. I played a couple of summers in the Padres organization. But he's given that up. Good recovery by Trajan Langdon to get back out on board. Duke not going to let Reed get open for his jump shot. Pull up. Oh. That cuts it to seven. Quick release. And a timeout. Duke. A 17-point lead has been trimmed to seven. And CBS Sports coverage of NCAA basketball will continue after this message and a word from your local station. Well, watch Robert Trailer just a moment ago. Power his way to two of his 17. And you think he can get everybody fired up? Jim, the great coach John Wooden said balance is the key. Robert Trailer has tremendous balance because he has excellent footwork. There he is on the bench. Brian Ellerby now trying to just steal a couple of minutes with his tremendous comeback on behalf of his ball club. Inside of 11 minutes, 61-54-2. He's got Trailer right back up off the bench. Just trying to steal an extra minute of rest for him. This is a great test for Mike Krzyzewski's club. They've been blowing people out. Now they got to get down to a tight one. Four on the shot clock. Langdon must take it. And Aslan tips it outside. Ward recovers and gets it to Reed before he goes out of bounds. Good defense is stopped that time by Michigan. Conlon with a three. Oh, he thought he had it. Didn't quite stay with the shot, but it was there. Brand doubled up. Chappelle floats for two. This is a tough lineup on the floor for Michigan to be able to score with. Right, Brand really in a situation where he is gaining a lot of experience today. He has to realize he doesn't have that much time to operate in the low post the way Michigan's defending him. Brand has been shut out of the second half after 12 in the first. Timeout, 
20 seconds with the call by the Wolverines. Well, without Trailer in the game, nobody came to the ball from the inside. When you break down the top 25, look at the respect and the power out of the Atlantic Coast Conference. The respect for that conference. Seven teams ranked out of the ACC. And only one by the Big East. One, that being Kansas from the Big 12. That's UConn for the Big East, the lone rep. Jim, I think that's going to shift around a little bit, but there is no question that from top to bottom, the ACC is extremely strong. Today, a big loss for them in regard to the loss by, by Clemson to Illinois. Clemson probably the team struggling more than any that was expected to be up fighting for a championship berth in that league. Trailer back in. Ten on the shot clock. Blocked by Brand and five on the shot clock. Good weak side help by Battier created that opportunity for Brand to get it from the back side. Solid screen for Trailer, maybe. Connell, a tough shot. Watch out, shot clock's going to expire. And a violation. Good ball. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, Joe who will not back up to anybody, but he's picked on a guy about 100 pounds heavier. Or more. <laughs> and uh, not a smart move, but he didn't want to back down. <laughs> we'll see it right here. Trailer down. Wojo stays in there. Now Robert just says, son, back off. <laughs> It's back to him. Oh, that brand has got some hands. We'll shoot two. Let's see who's whistled for this one. I think we're taking a look today at two guys in the inside that have tremendous bulk that have great hands. Well, Robert Trailer has four fouls. We, you know, we had in Jim, we had Danny Fortson with the great hands from Cincinnati. Carlos Williamson, the great hands from Arkansas, kind of built along the same lines as Elton Brand. Tough guys to match up with in college ball unless you have a Robert Trailer. Well, they started from day one here at Duke. Batty A and Brand, the first duo coming in as freshman to start since Allery and Johnny Dawkins, who now sits on the Duke bench as an assistant. Dawkins, of course, part of that first class that put Mike Krzyzewski up over the top. Johnny Dawkins took his team to the title game back in 1986. Still the record holder of games played in the NCAA is in a given year, as well as number of wins. Almost match or could have been matched by Kentucky last year. But they didn't win the big one, which was Louisville Denny Crumbs Championship. Bullock. Oh, made two like that. Sensational outside shots. Here's a guy that went two games without hitting a three. Made two of the tougher threes we've seen all year. The last two tries. 64 57 Blue Devils. Long. And Brand. Trailer with the fork just stands there defenseless. You would think Duke would try to go to Brand a little bit to pick up another foul. Ward from the outside, and Gerard Ward now with eight. Michigan showing some real tenacity here, Jim. You know what? Gonna like their courage. They were down 17. Carowell. There's those hands again. Brand tipped up. And Michigan has it with Ward. Seven minutes to go. Seven-point deficit for the Wolverines. Baston to the line for two. Good double pump by Maceo. 
as good a defender as Battier is, he couldn't handle it. Battier has to come out. Jim, in, in Maui, Duke had the big lead on Arizona. Arizona made the comeback, led by Miles Simon. Duke was able to fight off that challenge. But there you had the neutral crowd. There you have to win and battle against a crowd that has been uh, excellent all day for Michigan. Baskin hits them both. To cut it to five. 6.57 to go. And Michigan's fought back. Well, Battier had to go to the bench after a cut on his face. And Billy, what a great comeback here by Michigan. Down 17, they've trimmed it to five. They really have, Jim. And when you wonder why, they're not turning the ball over. And I think in Duke's case, they never have gotten into sync in a half-court offensive set. Langdon has been hot in the second half, and they got to figure out a way to get shots much smoother. McLeod's a guy that's capable. Langdon, obviously, is a scorer. Nobody confident with that ball right now. Freshman double teamed inside. Langdon to Burgess. Bad shot. Aslan. Freshman for Michigan has it. Good job by Michigan. They're just playing very well in the second half. Ellerby doing a great job. Stealing a couple of minutes for Trailer whenever he can. Aslan. What a chance to cut into that five-point lead at the other end. Carrollwell. Good job by Michigan getting back on defense. Trailer comes running in. Is that Baston down on the floor? It is. Yeah. Might have got hit knee to knee. You see that so often. Well, for Duke, Billy, you know, we were talking about how few close games they've had this year mentioned earlier that Missouri had played them within 23. That was not the closest. The closest was Arizona in that uh, Maui championship game. It was an eight-point Duke win, but they're averaging a, almost a 36-point margin of victory this year. Well, that's why I think that Mike Krzyzewski, if he can get out of here with a win, will consider this a tremendous learning process. And, of course, we've talked to him over the years, and even with a loss, he would consider it a learning process because this team never got in sync on the offensive end of the floor. They tried to to go ahead and blow the game out early. It didn't happen, and they never settled back in. When you're a pressing team, a running team, and you're used to turning it over and creating your offense with your defense, and it doesn't happen, you've got to rely on some solid half-court offensive structure, and it has not been there today. This, in a way, helps Michigan in the fact that a lot of time is spent to let their guys get a rest. Baston hustles the best he can to the bench. Well, he, he doesn't want to call a timeout here, so he'd take him out and put him right back in to not use up a timeout. Baston is not going to sit for long, I can assure you. Well, tonight on America's Night of Television on CBS, don't miss Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman, the Christmas concert of hope with Natalie Cole and Walker, Texas Ranger. Down five. You get a sense that Michigan is gaining confidence. Can cut it to two. Bullock does it again. Three great, great three-point shots by Bullock. 66-64. He is four of four from three. And was 0 for 11 in his first 11 three-point shots this year. McLeod. Michigan can tie it or take the lead. 5.20 to go in the game. Sensational comeback. They were down by 17 and looked like it was over. Trailer. And a foul on Duke. Foul called. 
Burgess. His second. Well, when you get that stroke going, look at how Bullock stays with his shot. His hand is still extended even as he crosses half court. Four of four today for Bullock. And now Trailer at the line for two can tie the game. He makes them both. Now, this is a weakness of Trailer. Only shooting 50% from the free throw line. Normally, Michigan will rush everybody, assuming that he is only going to make half of his shots. But the confidence level high for Michigan right now. High game. They've come back from 17 down against the number one team in the country. Conlin on Langdon. That's the big matchup right now. And a turnover. Now Brian Ellerby was an assistant at Virginia, so he knows what it's like to take on an ACC team. Grew up in ACC country and is enjoying this afternoon. Ward turns it right back over. Good defense in his face by Mike Chappelle. That would be the 34-year-old interim coach. The last three years had directed Loyola College of Baltimore. Had come here as an assistant to Steve Fisher, replaced Fisher when Fisher was fired on October the 10th. They'd like to get Langdon a shot. Three too strong, and Bullock on the long rebound. From behind, Battier gets a piece of it. They call it a jump. It's it Michigan ball. That looks like maybe a little contact more than just a jump ball. The confidence level. All with Michigan right now. 4-12 to go. Bullock. He'll go to the line with that smooth stroke to shoot two. Bullock really gaining confidence, even with Wojo Gardner. He wants the ball. He wants to shoot it. Jim, as you said, we're looking at one of the best free throw shooters in the United States right here. Ojo's third foul. And here's one of those things, Jim, when you have a deep team, you say, well, it doesn't make a difference who the starters are, but it does make a difference who the finishers are. What Duke's trying to figure out right now is who needs to be on the floor to finish. Right now on the floor, they have their starting five, does Duke. And that's Michigan's first lead since 1817. Oh, a miss by Bullock, only his second of the season. Oh, that's Baston's fifth. He pulled down Battier. And it comes off a Bullock miss free throw. Can you believe what it? What are the odds of that? He's made now, well, 28 of 29 before he missed that one. And Baston fouls out. Two years ago here, he had his career game, 26 points. And nine rebounds and four blocks against the Blue Devils. Taken out of his game early with three personals. Fouls out, 13 points, four rebounds. One thing you got to say, though, Billy, this Josh Asselin, the freshman, has eight rebounds. That's a big reason why Michigan's gotten back into this game. Very valuable minutes on his part. Chappelle rolls out. But he'll go to the line for two. That's a foul on Asselin. His third. Asselin, before this game, had a high here in his freshman year of just five rebounds in a game, but already with eight today. Chappelle to shoot two. He makes them both. He can give Duke the lead back. Long. They have not been able to buy anything the last three or four minutes. Coach K calls him our most improved player. Mike Chappelle now looking to tie it. And the under four timeout. All tied at 67.
CBS Sports coverage of the road to the Final Four is sponsored by Buick LeSabre for safety and peace of mind. 67-67 at Chrysler Arena. Well, Michigan's timeout situation has two full timeouts remaining. The arrow belongs to Duke. Blue Devils with one full, two twenties, and Michigan ball. Jim Duke is 69 and seven when they play people, and they're ranked number one in the nation. So they have been in these situations before. Foul drawn. I believe on it is on Brand and for Elton Brand his first let's remind everyone that last year when these two met there was a collapse at the end by Duke right, went they went the last 10 32 without a field goal and lost at home which is a rarity in non conference play by one point trailer hit the winner with six seconds to go now here's here's a problem for Michigan you want to get the ball to trailer inside you know Duke's going to follow him. He's a 50% free throw shooter, and there's what he does. One out of two right on the money. Gives Michigan the one-point lead. 3.35 to go. There's the double down. The freshman doesn't see it. Ball on the floor. Asselin comes out with it. Ward, will he challenge? Will he challenge? Not a good play. No. Not a good play by Ward. They would have loved to have had that possession back. You want the ball here. Your team is playing well. You've got Bullock hot. You've got a good job by Trailer. You don't need to put up a bad shot with nobody. You can see four Duke players under there to rebound. Got a bad angle and everything. Yep. Bojo on the line who hit two big ones last year to beat Virginia at the buzzer. Has not scored in this half. He'll get one more. That ties it. A little shooter's roll there. Brian Ellerby, who played at Rutgers. Asselin in there on the inside. And Jim, you made a good point. That young man's been aggressive on the boards. Duke back ahead by one. Major possession. Bullock would like to have a chance for another three. That's the way you finish. No weak side help. Three minutes to go. Wow. Wow. What a shot. Brando plucks it out of the air. Puts it. Boy, that young man has some hands. Bullock. Ward. Fights off Wojciechowski, who's whistled for that one. Wojo's fourth. That would really put some pressure on Duke if Wojo would fall out. It means Avery would have to come in to lead the ball club in the clutch. Wojo motions over to Mike Krzyzewski. He's all right. He knows he's got four fouls on him, though. Sherrod Ward to shoot two at the line. One and one make it. All right. Huge free throw for that senior's confidence. So maligned during his time at Michigan. Two knee operations. Well, so much was expected, Jim, of the National Player of the Year. Big stop right here. He hasn't given Peyton Lang and even an opportunity for a shot. He cannot get three. Bullock. Oh, what nifty ball handling. He'll take it to the hole, and Michigan leads by three. And I'm going to credit Conlon with keeping the ball away from Trajan Langdon to the point that Duke has no place to go with it. Timeout Duke. A 20.
Kowalski tried to tie it, and Trailer snags it out of the air. Three-point lead and possession with 1.52 to go. Let Trailer touch the ball. Let Trailer touch the ball. Trailer off. Oh, there it is. Gets it. 22 for Trailer. Conlon, another great defensive play. One twenty-five remaining, five-point lead. I think they can go into trailer, Jim, and get it back out to Bullock for a three. They're on the wrong side of the floor here. 76-71. Up five. Seven on the shot clock. Looking for help. Aslan has to give it up. It's Conlon to the hole. In and out. Trailer has it. And Brand's on his back. Boy, one of the gutty performances I've seen, Jim, in college basketball. Terrific job by Brian Ellerby. Using his substitutions wisely. Had the handicap of Maceo Baston in foul trouble. Been able to rest trailer. Terrific job by this young coach. One one. That foul was on Chappelle. Trailer gives him a six-point lead. What a moment for Brian Ellerby. Gotta be thinking three here if you're Duke. They Close turn it over. Control of it. You don't want to foul this man that you put that ball in Bullock's hands. Because Duke has to foul. And you're, you're following an 85% shooter. Wojo's out of there. Well, the CBS Sports Line stat of the game. Duke held a lead of 52-35. Find out more about team and player stats for every Division I team and the latest scores on cbs.sportsline.com. Wojo fouls out. 38.3 seconds to go. One and one for Bullock. Could this be the start of one of the most special days for Could Michigan Athletics? Oh. Upsetting the number one team in basketball and perhaps Charles Woodson becoming the first defensive player to win the Heisman tonight. What makes the college game great, Jim? I believe that's on the minds of the 15,000 on hand. Now, Jim, there's one team left undefeated in college basketball, and we are not out of December. North Carolina. North Carolina. And we'll we see them next week. week. And they'll probably be number one at the time. But they play Princeton tonight, isn't it? That's right. Avery, three-pointer. Ward. Whistle on Duke. Duke has made only one field goal since the 7.45 mark. Similar to last year, Jim, as you pointed out, they went scoreless from the, from the floor for 10 minutes in that game. Yeah, let's put it, this will be Michigan's third straight win over Duke, right? Three years in a row, and put this into the picture here. This is a Michigan team that's lost this season to Western Michigan, and this week to Bradley. That's right. Detroit had him. Beat Detroit with a tenth of a second to go. Brian Ellerby with the former coach. Steve Fisher in attendance for the first time. Since his dismissal. And when Duke couldn't blow it away, they did not get back to a semblance of a half-court set. And it's really cost them. Trailer, look out, and Chappelle grabs him from behind. 
He's not Charles Barkley, but he, he does a lot of similar things. They have outscored Duke 45 to 19 since giving up two threes to start the second half. And Duke looking very average right now. And all they must do is inbound it, and mighty Duke has fallen. The number one team in the nation is upset by the University of Michigan. It seems like commonplace on college campuses. Big upset. Xavier goes down. Kansas almost went down at home. And they have stormed the court at Chrysler Arena. A most improbable victory. And a satisfied smile on the face of Steve Fisher. A true gentleman. Lewis Bullock, the MVP, was at his home this week talking to him about he lacked confidence and Steve put it back into him and look at what he did today. Bullock's our MVP on the Michigan side. Brand for Duke. Chevrolet donates $1,000 school's general scholarship fund to reward outstanding students. What a scene here, Billy. Welcome back to college basketball, James. Great to be back with you, Billy Packer, and for all of us from CBS Sports. Jim Nance saying so long from Ann Arbor, where the number one team in the country has been defeated by the Michigan Wolverines, 81 to 73. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports, home of the NCAA Basketball Championship.